Hey viewers, let me start off by saying that fluff is nature's perfect food. Whether or not you agree, and wherever you buy your fluff, I wanted to present to you Wegmans. If you've never been, this is the supermarket of supermarkets. It's a fantastic venue that actually has a good handle on its clientele. It's very active, or they are very active in social media, and it's almost like an amusement park ride when you go there, because when you walk in the door, you're immediately... The word shouldn't be assaulted, but you are immediately assaulted with fantastic sounds and smells and views. In fact, during this trip, the first view is the coffee bar, and they make all sorts of gourmet coffees. They have sandwiches, everything you need to fuel your visit to the store. And then they have a plethora of other items like butter lambs and their own style of Nutella, they have different international foods. They have sections all over the store where you can be very precise and specific. I guess those are the same things about what you want to purchase. So if you're looking for a specific item from a different country, it's right there in their international aisle. They have like 40 different types of mustard. Uh, one thing Clownface gets angry at me at is that I like to hoard mustard because I like mustard. I don't like it on everything, but I like to sample it from time to time. And we ended up throwing out some mustard because it had expired. I mean, who in their right mind hangs on to mustard long enough for it to expire? As you can see in some of these clips, I'm just bombing around the store. They have almost what looks like a warehouse store mentality for some of the aisles. So if you need to buy paper goods, they have that. If you need just to buy a steak for dinner, they have that. Their meats are grass-fed, fantastic. The butcher shop is great. The one thing I haven't even mentioned yet is inside the store, they have six or seven little restaurants. They're not full-on restaurants, but you see the Olive Bar right here. They have different areas where you can go and select your meals. So they have Asian food. They have sushi. They have pizza. They have a sub shop. They have really anything that you want. They make their own bread there. So they have their own bakery. They make donuts. They make pretzel rolls. They have a cheese shop, an area for a charcuterie. It's just, I, I don't mean to get all hyped up about this, but Wegmans really is a super supermarket. Some of the things we saw when we were there the other day included, I mentioned charcuterie, but included some goat cheese with their brand on top, which was kind of neat. They also had some speck. I picked up some dried speck, which is or cured speck, really, which is a lot like prosciutto, but it's a little saltier and a little more aged, I believe. You cut it a little thicker, but it's the same thing. You set up a charcuterie tray, and that's what goes on it. During the trip, we also had to get some bananas. So I cruise through produce, and you know I don't like to go into the produce section because vegetables are the devil's Legos, but I do eat bananas. And look at all these bananas they have here. Then if you wanted to get someone flowers for a gift, they're flowers. They have a florist who arranges this stuff, and they have all sorts of different plants and floral arrangements, and it's just crazy. I, I am hyped up about this because Wegmans actually had us as guests to their grand opening out in their Westboro, Westboro slash Northboro store. When we left there, we tweeted out, we used Twitter, and we tweeted out that we had forgotten some things. The next day, we got back to the house, and I'll reference down in the show notes a link to this video. The next day, a delivery from Wegman showed up at the house. A pile of groceries from the most fabulous grocery store on the planet, Wegmans Northboro. And what was in the bag? Can you describe what's over here on these paper towels? Because I think you were looking for paper towels. Looking for paper and towels. And plastic wrap. And plastic wrap. So you got that. I got but, that, but it's like I'm moved to tears. This is unbelievable. I hope you enjoyed this little journey, this mini journey, to Wegmans and Westwood. And if you ever want to go there, give me a shout. I'll go along with you. Thanks again for watching this episode of With Jeff. 
This is episode 14, I believe. If you want to subscribe, click on my face. If you want to leave a comment, just go down below and leave a comment. Click on the thumb button or the thumb symbol to give me a thumbs up and like this video. And definitely click on the bell so that you're reminded when I load new videos. So I'll talk to you soon. Thanks again for watching. Another day in the city And one month on the phone Another week on those side streets Another hour